Afternoon everybody and welcome to a Meccano set review video again. First one in a while. Uh, quite a while mainly because there isn't much in the way of new stuff uh, at the moment. Just starting to filter through. But this set and the Chevrolet pickup set are not available directly in the UK. As it happens it was very easy to get from abroad. Um, I can't remember now whether it was Canada or the USA but one or the other. Uh, Target.com uh, all in, posted, taxes paid at the other end, uh, bought the two together, and they're around £77 each. Now looking at a European website a while back, there were some sets advertised, this being one, not available at the time, just advertised, and the price was €70. Euros. Well, there ain't much in the euros, uh, pounds, dollars uh, these days. I haven't checked for some considerable time. I dare say the pound's slightly weaker than the other two. Uh, so, £77 postage and taxes paid at the far end, so to speak. Uh, I reckon that's pretty, well, pretty even Stevens, really. Uh, so I say, not available in the UK, so you'll have to shop around on the web if you are in the UK. So then, this uh, 380G excavator, uh, one of the, well, there is several new sets, but as I said, not uh, all of them, or many of them coming direct in the UK, but this is rather smart looking. Of course, there's a lot of plastic, which is the way they seem to be going now. <laughs> um, it's probably been said a million times now, but as you can see, a lot of plastic. But the beauty of this set is the hydraulic rams, as it says here, hydraulic powered arm and different controls. So we've got three, effectively they are syringes, um, without the needles of course, and obviously purpose built so they're not exactly syringes, but it's the same sort of thing. Uh, some parts we've seen before, some we haven't. Uh, a really good looking model though, on the face of it, of course we'll see what the build's like. This one, uh, build skill level wise is 4 out of 4 4 being the highest I presume as there is no others um, it doesn't look on the face of it overly complicated though uh, but we'll see uh, made in China it says 2 foot wide I'm, I'm not too sure about that maybe with the arm fully extended front to back it's 2 foot who knows we've got the new spanner uh, let's have a look round the back of the box what have we got Right then, tells us about the working hydraulics and uh, the bucket and the arm moving. Sorry about the dog outside. 360 degree rotation, of course we've got the tracks. Um, a lot of new looking parts, in part, pardon the pun, but quite a few were now common plastic parts as well. Right then, let's hope not everything falls flat on the floor. Well, it's going to fall. No, yes, no, yes, no, probably. Let's just uh, stop it falling. Quite a full box, I think you'll agree there. Not totally full, but uh, not bad. Lots of bags. Lots and lots of bags. Which, I suppose, the more bags means the more separated the parts are, which makes things easier to find. Nowhere near as easy as a, a laid out tray of old, of course, but said that many times. Uh, another bag there. Ah, that's nice. Nuts and bolts. Plenty of. Smalls. Um, a surprise. Looking on the box, and I dare say that's a prototype image, so this doesn't fall flat on the floor. These one and a half inch square plates look to be plastic, but they are metal. Good. There's the new spanner. Uh, plastic handle spanner. The open end is a better grip. How long it will last, who knows. The now common driver. Uh, let's uh, tidy up a bit and have a look at a few parts of the newer parts a bit more close up. Right then, first up of new parts. I think it's a new part. It's been that long, I can't remember. We have this rather large gear. No boss, but rather like a face plate or the three inch pulley. Uh, and there was a metal gear about this size and I'm guessing it's, oh, I can't remember, it's 93 or 95 teeth normally it tells you on the part but I'm not overly sure really, it's got 121 on it but that looks a bit too much for me 
this may be very similar to the, what was included in the tower crane, the large tower crane, but uh, Andy Gear, I need some of them for um, the winch I'm building from a dam. Um, I'll need some uh, large gears and things because we've got to get some quite large reduction in a, a fairly small space, not not too small. Anyway, that's another story. Um, what looks a common part, and indeed has been around since probably, oh I don't know, early 30s, this one and a half inch by five and a half inch flexible plate. I would have liked to see this uh, metal in this colour, which has been around since the uh, 60s, um, um, mid 60s anyway. Uh, some of the plastic parts are fine, they they're all seem to be pretty good quality, but they're a bit chunky sometimes, and uh, the metal probably looks a bit more, I don't know, I suppose a bit more neat, uh, a bit more refined, I suppose, uh, maybe. But of course that is a common part, um, and apart from the extra holes in the middle there, you could replace that with a metal one anyway. But, uh, well made. Very nice looking chunky bucket. Uh, another new part, as far as I know anyway. But, I haven't got one myself, and I should have bought one the other day when I put an order into Mr Lawton. Uh, thanks, Ralph. Um, I fancy an original tin bucket, metal bucket, from the, uh, well, I suppose 30s, I suppose, 50s. I may, I may replace this with one of them, just for the... Because, because you can really. Not a new part, I believe it was around before World War Two, but uh, well, not too up on that. Uh, but uh, rubber rings for half inch pulleys, loads of those, but we'll have a look at the parts list in a bit in the instruction book. Again, not new, but loads of plastic spaces, but loads of washers too. Uh, to my mind, there was never enough washers included in sets, uh, mainly because I like to protect some of the parts a bit, and they don't always make a good spacer because they're thicker than some of the parts that you want to space, uh, so you end up sort of like, they're, they're generally about one and a half uh, times the thickness of a strip, say, uh, roughly, so you tend to have very evenness. But, for a parts point of view, lots and lots of washers. Well, they're not new, uh, but these plastic flange plates, um, not bad, I don't know if I've actually seen some this size, probably have somewhere, can't think now, um, mecha saw maybe, possibly, um, handy because they hold the nuts at the back but uh, again a neater part would have been an original, well I say original, a variation of the um, metal one but uh, you know that is the way things are going. Um, we seem to have a this much, much to do with the arm. I shouldn't be using the knife, should I really? It's not very good practice. I'll just use a Meccano screwdriver because it's a Meccano video. I've got a fork here. i uh, guessing that's for the arm uh, somewhere. So that looks new. Um, there's another one. Oh, hello. Don't know how many of these there are, but uh, these curved... Uh, yeah, flanged wheel rims. Uh, I don't know what you call those, but uh, new parts there. Uh, some of these strips, uh, yeah, we've had plastic strips like this for a while now, but I don't think I've seen them in this length. There we have the uh, rams. Two different sizes. One shorter with a wider diameter. The other one slightly longer, packed. Perhaps about half inch longer, but narrower, giving you a better, easier ratio to move the arms and things. Uh, probably would operate on air, but put some water in, it'd be a lot easier. And uh, I presume that is what they want you to do, but we'll find that out when we get to the instructions. But these are these are handy things, aren't they? People are going to want these. I know you could probably substitute um, a syringe without the needles, of course. Uh, to do such similar things and it was in a, recommended in a book to do it, showed you how to do it, I read years ago. So yeah, good seal there, so we'll look at another one here. That's easier to push and pull. Oh, another one. Yeah. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, that's got to be some quite some reasonable force there. 
So that's the syringes. They are going to be well sought after, I reckon. And of course the hoses. Um, well, it's not rubber, it's some sort of plastic, rather light rubber. Hoses. What? Um, 3 mil outside diameter. Uh, I dare say that can be sourced if you want more. Uh, looks like we've got different lengths. Uh, okay, that means we at least we don't have to cut them, which is a good thing. Uh, looks like we've got uh, three different lengths. Let's have a look. This is very awkward. It's a bit larger in itself. Uh, two long ones there. This one a little bit shorter and this short one as far as I can tell with the syringes and the hoses of course the bucket uh, there may be more of these parts hiding somewhere um, this consists of the new parts although that one may be quite similar to the one in the terror crane set what else then, just before we get on to the instruction book, we have some stickers. Uh, helpline card. Um, this little flyer that I did rather get sidetracked on in the last video, and of course that gave us, or gave me the interest, and indeed in the end some others, I suppose, to go out and try and find some of these new sets. Um, yet to find the John Deere tractor. Not too bothered about the plane. Um, one of the mechanozone.com members, and I can't remember your name, sorry, uh, made the plane, the F-18, out of, uh, should we say, traditional metal mechano. And I must admit, it did look a bit more, well, modern, to be honest. It looked neater, more refined. Uh, although it was very, 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 very similar, but really good effort, so I won't go on about that one anymore. And now we've got the instruction book. Uh, made in China this set, which as uh, many times I've sa said this, the instruction books seem to be better quality, better print, there's a nice shine on that. You may be not be able to make it all out, that sort of thing on the video. Stitching, nice stitching all the way along, which for the French ones doesn't seem to be all the way along. Let's have a look. Um, again, tips. Contents, which is not surprisingly one model. 725 parts. Two real tools. <laughs> one sticker sheet, one instruction sheet for one model, i.e. the book. Right. I'm not going to go through it all. It will be here all day looking at everything. But, uh, right, let's have a look at the first, um, well, near the first page and stages. Uh, these, uh, those flanged rims uh, look to be some sort of bearing. Uh, would like to see more white outlining that seems to have disappeared it's not impossible to see any texture in the parts but it's a little bit dark and dull um, to be honest there uh, generally looks all right laid out all right the parts lists seem a little bit smaller the index uh, inset part lists they look a bit smaller than normal where there is plenty of room really on the pages for the most part um, I say it's not totally dark, but it, it could be better. Uh, and there's quite a bit of light on this, so uh, you know, in average light, you'll probably suffer a little bit. Just take your time, I suppose. Um, in general, uh, just have a look through. Obviously, best way to find out any issues in the design or the instructions is just to actually build the model. Uh, let's have a scoot through a bit more. It's getting a bit more built now, as you can see. Uh, certainly looks the part, doesn't it? It's a very nice looking part. Um, there is another part missing, uh, or I haven't come across yet, uh, that's new by the looks of it. Um, this oddly shaped flexible plate here. That's, uh, that's a newbie. As far as I know, anyone anyway, can remember. Um, yeah, it looks very good, doesn't it? Ah, here we're coming on to the, uh, the rams, putting the rams together. Or onto, uh, you don't put the rams together really, onto the uh, build just there. So we'll let you know eventually what I think of the uh, the build altogether. 
course it's quite modern looking which is, is what we want really I mean one of the downsides to many Meccano sets and instructions were that they never changed the instructions and the models very often so um, yeah look there we are we're going back to the, the rams look yeah fill them up and bleed them I dare say shouldn't be too hard to do of course I only use water and there's the completed model well putting the stickers on 63 stages in total uh, yeah the uh, the instructions are old you know the, the models are uh, quite out of date and I believe I haven't got one so I can't check but I believe in the 90s perhaps mid 90s when you could still order a number 10 set to special order the models were the same from the well certainly the 60s probably the 50s so and okay it's a bit of nice nostalgia now but you know, sometimes some of the models you look and you look at a I don't know early 60s set and the model cars I say like 1930s or at best uh, maybe maybe 50s if you're lucky so that's one thing they should have uh, improved on but anyway parts list uh, yeah we've got the rams uh, they are new certainly some new flexible plate shapes or variants new variants of older shapes uh, and parts um, there is some metal in it, not, all, not an awful lot of amount of course but, uh, and then we've got uh, parts just in there, we've got two hinges, that's handy, I need some hinges for the dam, although I won't be robbing them out of this set yet now uh, the usual amount of part, uh, bolts sorry, you get uh, and nuts in the set uh, 116 nuts and only 52 standard bolts 42 nine and a half mil bolts um, I haven't checked the price of nuts and bolts for a while but it used to be about 12p for a nut and bolt I think it was always 16 something like that standard so uh, for normal standard nuts and bolts then not not brilliant nuts is not too bad uh, 95 washers though that's good so there we go folks the Meccano engineering and robotics 380g John Deere excavator available uh, from elsewhere in the world if you want it uh, in the UK uh, this one was either the US or Canada so I can't remember which but Target all taxes paid delivery and everything else including the set of course about 77 quid which to be fair I think that's a pretty good buy considering the taxes and of course the well it wasn't that hefty but you know you, you've always got postage and packing or very nearly always so uh, on the face of it doesn't look a bad set at all plenty of parts from a parts point of view there are loads of washers uh, a good array of different length bolts if not that many standard bolts but uh, yeah I can see some uh, good uh, additions if you're looking for parts in this set um, but in you know, the main thing really is the build itself first and we'll get on with that very shortly still building the cable car from the 1967-69 number 7 mountain engineers set uh, about 90% done on that now but uh, I'm not looking forward to the next bit on that which is the stringing of the cord which is very awkward to see what you've got to do on the drawing which is something really we don't have to put up with these days with the new stuff. Anyway, next up will be the Chevrolet Silverado brand new set. Bye for now.